Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my empties. I don't know why I let it get this full. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous and I'm gonna really try to like go by this really fast because I don't want this to be a 25 minute video. Y'all don't want this to be a 25 minute video. I feel like I'm kind of pink, but the sun is so bright right now that I had to like close my blinds. I'm just using my soft boxes. So forgive that and forgive first day hair. I literally just dried it and it's so flat. I can't stand first day hair. All right, I'm gonna go run through this real quick. I've, I also added some like kind of fails for me. I was going through um, my makeup collection as we all do every once in a while just to kind of feel like I need to make room. I'm getting a lot of new stuff, a lot of the new launches, and I just need to make room for that in my drawers. So I started taking out stuff that I haven't used in like the past four months or just really I used it. It didn't work and I don't know why I kept it in the first place. So all right first thing is Bath and Body Works A Thousand Wishes. I could probably get another use or two out of this but to be honest I can't stop using body oils now and I haven't used actual lotion in forever so I just decided to put this in there. It is a really good scent and if I do buy lotion from Bath and Body Works I prefer the body cream to the body lotion, but I think this was like a free gift. So it is a really good scent. Next is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, did not like this. I finished it, but I just didn't feel like it did anything for me. I do like the Garnier. I'm using that now. Uh, Neutrogena Al Alcohol-Free Toner. Y'all know, I, I love Neutrogena Toner. Neutrogena Toners. All right, this is gonna take a long time if I can't talk. Uh, Purity Made Simple Cleanser. This is one of my two Holy Grail cleansers and I'm already using its backup. A few hair things. We all know my love for Alterna hair care and we all know that I spent 1500 for four points to get the um, gift with purchase or point perk, whatever. And so this is like my third point perk that I went through. And then this is a full size of the Caviar um, CC Cream and I've finished both of those. This is um, the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil. It's like a little vial that came with a 500 point perk. I like this. I do not like the shampoo and conditioner in this line. I actually like strongly disliked it. So um, if you do, that's great. I just cannot get it to work for my hair. I finished up my Provise um, Skin Type 1 through 6 moisturizer that I use in the morning. It um, came in a boxy charm, and I was really kind of wanting it to come in this month's boxy charm because it was one of the options, but I didn't get it. But anyways, it is a good moisturizer, very lightweight, and really good under makeup. I did a lot of traveling this month, so um, I either used up a lot of my travel size products or I used them and realized I didn't like them. One of those is the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. Something about this cream broke me out and not in like huge like cystic acne, but little tiny white dots Not white dots, but just little tiny bumps all over my face And this is the only thing that I changed when I traveled so I knew it had to be that so I only used it once The Algenis complete eye renewal eye balm. I'm not done with this um, However, I've had it for a long time and I feel like whenever Sephora gives you like free bags They always include one of these so I've got so many of them and I just need to get rid of them this is the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Eye Treatment Gel. This also came in a 500 point perk or gift with purchase one. It's kind of deceiving because it's really only half that amount, but I did really enjoy this and I put it on my wish list. Um, it's perfect for in the morning because it's, it's being a gel, it's really lightweight and it's really nice under um, makeup. So I did really enjoy that. Finished up my MAC Fix Plus. I think I'd mentioned in my haul video, I'm not buying these small ones anymore. While they are great for travel, I do not get, or you do not get, we do not get to back to Mac these travel size $10 um, Mac products. So I, if I'm gonna spend the money, I know I'm gonna use it, so I might as well be able to back to Mac it. I finished up the Smith Rosebud Salve Balm. This is really, really nice. I do not like the one in the tube. I like this a lot better. So I use this, um, well I did use this at night. I'm using my Glam Glow one right now, which I like better, but it is more expensive. So if you're on a budget, definitely try out the Smith's Rosebud line of balms. Um, I finished up another matte cleanse off oil. We all know how much I love that. I'm definitely already on a backup. Um, I finished up two of these. The other one's in my trash or somewhere downstairs, but it's the 
um, Equate Beauty Original Clean, and it's the ones that are comparable to Pond's Original Fresh Wet. These are my absolute favorite makeup wipes. I do not use makeup wipes except to clean up under my eyes and for swatches and on my clients. And these are the only ones I use. I don't like the Pond's, the ones that they're compared to. I like these a lot better and they're only $2 a pack. So they're the Equate brand, so you get them at Walmart. I finished up my Belief uh, True, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Again, I don't like the Aqua Balm. This stuff saved my winter skin. I've already repurchased. This is the smaller size. Um, I had to get this because they were out of the bigger size, but when I repurchased, I got the bigger size. So, so good. You can get that at Sephora. I finished up the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. This was a 100 point perk. Absolutely love it. It is a staple in my weekly routine and I did purchase another one. I finished the Josie Moran Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. It's okay. I don't, I'm never going to repurchase it simply because I feel like while it's very thin when you pump it out on your fingers, it almost like, I don't know, it skips when you apply it to your face or it's hard to rub in. And I am not one to like want to tug on my face. No one wants to tug on their face. At least I hope you don't. I finished up <laughs> this poor thing. I mean, I squeezed the ever loving out of this. This is the Ember Elise Late Cream Concentrate. I use this on my clients under makeup. It's perfect. If you're looking for a moisturizer that you can be totally certain is going to work amazing under makeup, that's the one you want. Another makeup wipes. These are some other makeup wipes I tried because they were on closeout and I didn't like them. The Olay Clean and Mild, I don't know, with aloe vera wipes. I just didn't like them. Another um, Alterna Caviar. If you have not seen my latest haul, I have repurchased these in the full size. They are that good to me. I finished up two boxes of the Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Original Formula. I feel like some of these things are in every single one of my empties videos because I'm religious about using them. I use these once a week as a treatment, an exfoliating treatment, and highly, highly recommend them. I get them in the five pack because I do only use them once a week, but you can get them, I think they have up to like a, a 35 pack. And I feel like the last time I looked at them, they even had one that had like 50 in them. So, um, I just don't recommend using this more than three times a week, definitely. But I only, because I use so many other treatments, I only use them uh, once a week. This I didn't quite finish up because I just really disliked it. It's the Nudes um, Perfect Cleanse Nourishing Cleansing Oil. And I think this came, it's not a full size. It's a deluxe sample. I don't know where I got it. Some Somehow, some way through Sephora. But it's so thick. Everything is thick compared to my MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Everything. And this one is super thick and I feel like I had to use like six pumps just to get it going. And I don't like using cleansing oils where when I open my eyes, I can't see. Like it's blurry because it gets so much film over your eyes. I hate that. The MAC one does not do that. This one did. So I do not recommend that personally if you're looking for a cleanse off oil. This came in a BoxyCharm Cool Way Smoothing Lotion. I don't know. I don't, I've yet to find any hair product that came in a BoxyCharm that I liked. I used that twice and threw it away. Some more skincare things. This I loved, and I wish they would bring it back. I don't know if it was a point perk. I think it was a point perk. It's been a while ago, but it's the Ole Henriksen Three Little Wonders, and it's seven days worth of their Truth Serum Collagen Booster, their Sheer Transformation Moisturizer, and their Night Treatment. Perfect for travel. It came in like a strip of four. Each was one-time use. I love this. I wish they would bring them back. I, I like Ole Ola Henriksen. I, like, I mean, I like his stuff. Um, this is the Sephora Eye Mask. It is the one for anti-aging and smoothing. I like these. Um, I think they're worth, you know, investing in, especially if you have an event you're going to. They really just, they tighten up your under eyes. They smooth them out. They make them very moisturized and they just feel really nice. So I do like these and I think they're only like $5. Yet another makeup wipe. It's been a while since I've done it empties. I don't, I only use like one of those a day and then I use like two per client. So I know it looks like I go through them quickly. This I got from a Space and K gift with purchase and it's Malin and Goats. Malin and Goats. I'm butchering that. I know. But it is the vitamin B5 Boydy, Boydy body moisturizer. Amazing. Okay. It doesn't smell good. Well, it doesn't smell bad. It just didn't have a huge smell, but that's not what's so good. It's the smoothest moisturizer I've ever used on my body and it would be because I got on in like the full size is like 60 bucks or something ridiculous like that so I'm not going to purchase it because of that but if I ever see and 
a, like a gift with purchase, I'm gonna jump right on it. I think that line is very promising. This is what got me like totally hooked on the belief, a moisturizing balm. It's um, came with a gift with purchase at Sephora and it's the small size. So I finished that up obviously before I repurchased. I don't know why this is in here. This must have fallen, it's still got stuff in it. That's the Lancome um, eye makeup remover. Okay, this is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum, their vitamin C serum. I do like this. I have since repurchased the Skin Medica Vitamin C and E Complex, which I like better, and I'll tell you why. It absorbs into my skin much faster, and there is rarely a day that I get ready that I'm not in some kind of hurry, or at least I'm, I don't have like the luxury of spending 20 minutes to get ready to put my makeup on. So I need something that's gonna absorb fast in my skin, and the Skin Medica not only absorbs fast, but it also mattifies whatever I put on before it. This did not. It did not absorb very much, very quickly, um, and left my face a little dewier than I like before makeup application. So if you don't mind that, it's a good serum, and I do like the Drunk Elephant line. All right, holy grail, holy grail. I hate that it's $105 because I can never be without this. The Sunday Riley Good Jeans, this is the half size that comes in the Power Duo pack that Sephora sells. Um, so good, so good. I don't take this when I'm traveling because I'm always scared something's gonna happen to it. I've said this before. When I come home from traveling, my skin is in need of this. And so I have since purchased the full size and I will continue to purchase as long as my finances allow because it is amazing. I've been holding on to this for the past five minutes. So this is the Shiseido Facial Cotton Pads. Again, it's in my empties every single time because I absolutely love them and I have not found anything comparable. I'm trying to get through all my skincare because I have a lot of makeup products for some reason. This is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. Really good eye cream for a uh, drugstore. It's probably the best that I've found. This is the Caudalie Premier Crew Eye Cream. I got this with a gift for purchase. I could not go through it quick enough and I don't feel like it stayed good. So I just um, threw it away. This is the Colleen Rice Chop. Ooh, hi, I'm like really booking this. I'm sorry if I if you can't understand me, I'm talking so fast. This is the Colleen Rice Chop Face Oil number nine. This is the size that comes in her um, Discovery set, which I, this is fairly old. I mean, I just finished this up, but I felt like I've had it for over a year and it probably wasn't good anymore. Really nice face oil. I do like her products. Um, another empty of the uh, Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This I did not finish because I did not like it. And I think I'm going to be in the minority here, but this is a sample of the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. My skin did not like this. Like, it's not that it just didn't do anything for my skin. It's that it did not good stuff. Like, I felt like it gave it texture and just things that most, most of the time my skin doesn't react to things. So if it does react to something, it's out. I don't care. I mean, if I bought it from somewhere and paid a lot of money, I will return it. If it's something like this or the Olay moisturizer, I chuck it. I'm just, I don't play with my skin like that. It's just, it's not worth it. So that, um, I did not like, obviously. I feel like most of the stuff, rest of the stuff is makeup. So this is the, um, Whitening Lightning, or now Gerard Cosmetics, Brow Bar to Go. It is nowhere near finished, but I've had it forever, and quite honestly, I have found things I like so much better in the form of um, eyebrow powders. So I just decided to make more room. I was gonna get rid of that. I finished the Milani Liquid Eye, Liquid Like Eyeliner Pencil. It's okay, it doesn't stay really well on my waterline, so I won't repurchase that. This is some off, dropping things. This is some off-brand um, eyeliner, and to be quite honest, I have probably 75 to 100 eyeliners in my eyeliner drawer, and I do not need another one, so I just decided to chuck that. This is the Smashbox Lip Gloss, Be Legendary Lip Gloss in Pout, okay? And I'm gonna do a close-up of this because this is not what it's supposed to look like, okay? <laughs> I got this with a lip kit that Sephora was selling last summer, and it came like this, it came white. Now, I'm sorry, I have seen this in store and it is not stark white. So I don't know, it just, that creeped me out and I didn't wanna put it on my lips, to be quite honest. This is the NYX Lip Gloss, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Sugar Pie. It was just old, I needed to get rid of it. I went through a L'Oreal Voluminous, this is the original. I got this free with something and I think it was in like a Walmart beauty box or something. 
And so I used it in my kit, but I prefer the carbon black. Oh, here's something for hair. The Healthy Sexy Hair uh, Soy Tri-Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. People rave about this stuff, didn't like it. Let me tell you, my hair is picky. Like, it's thinning, falling out. I might be bald this time next year making videos. Let's hope not, because I will wear wigs. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my health, because it's not, it's really, it's coming out in chunks. Off topic. All right, this is the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. So good. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's, it's like, it's not more than $5. I really don't think it's more than 3 but it's a very large, funky looking brush and the bristles are not long at all, but it's amazing. It really does give you lots and lots of volume. Highly recommend this. You can get that at Target now or at Ulta. I went through my MAC Prep and Prime CC um, Loose Powder in the color Adjust. I absolutely love this. I've used it in quite a few tutorials, so I will be back, back to macking that. Is that back to, I will be taking this back to MAC. I finished up the Smashbox Primer Water. I did not see any difference in the longevity of my makeup, and I just assume use Fix Plus if I'm gonna use it after my makeup. So I will not be repurchasing that. I finished up, well, I finished up two primers, and then this one is not finished up. It's the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer, and I only used about half of it. I don't know, people rave about this, but I didn't like it. I felt like it peeled up on my skin and had little balls flake off, and. I don't know. I pressed it in. I didn't wipe it around, so I don't know what I did wrong, but I just didn't like it. Um, I finished up my last sample, I'm really sad, of the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. Right there. Y'all know how much I like this, but I'll tell you, I don't like it more than this next one. And I know I've raved about a lot of primers. Um, side note, I did return the Guerlain Laure Primer. It did not firm my skin. I used it probably five times. Saw no difference. My makeup did not stay on longer. Um, I felt like it made me dewier than I wanted to be and I felt no firming effect. Saw no firming effect and I am not going to buy and keep a $75 primer if it doesn't do what it says it's gonna do. Especially when this next one, hands down, does all of that. Everything I want it to do. Um, I talked about how much I love the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I do, but I don't, I just, I don't know. I haven't found one that I like more than this, and it is already on my list for the VIB sale next month, and it's the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This is the fourth deluxe sample I've gone through. I jump on it anytime they tell me this, there's a deluxe sample. So, so good. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. I'm throwing this away. <clears throat> the e.l.f. Single Eyeshadow in Moss. I don't know why I got it. Don't like it. The um, Bare Minerals Lash Domination. This used to be one of my absolute favorite mascaras and it just didn't do it for me anymore and that one was starting to dry up. This is from Avon and y'all, I don't know how long I've had this so I'm kind of scared to put it on my eyes but it's their um, cream shadow stick in the color vanilla and I just used it as a base. Another primer I finished up is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I do love this and it is one of the only primers I use on my clients. I feel like it works on all skin types and it really helps to prolong the wear of your makeup. This is the NYX, uh, NYX, NYX, NYX uh, Full Coverage Concealer and it's in orange. It's some of the driest stuff I've ever put on my under eyes and I'm not messing with tugging on my under eyes. So I'm not keeping that. Colleen Rothschild Eye Cream. This is the second time, the second time that I have dropped this in the sink and half of it's gone everywhere. I'm so upset. I'm cursed with that eye cream. Oh, I, do, I could just, ugh, just throw, oh, just, ugh, just makes me sick. All right, enough of that. This is the color tattoo in Silver Strike. You know, these color tattoos, they're great when you first get them, but man, they dry out fast. And I just feel like I'd rather spend a little bit more money on a cream shadow that I know is gonna last more than two months. So I'm getting rid of that because it's dried out. Essence Gel Eyeliner, getting rid of that because I just have too many gel eyeliners. This is the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Blonde. You know that I use that all the time on my eyes. Mixed it with a brunette. This is another color tattoo that dried out and it's in the color Edgy Emerald. Really pretty color. It's just, they dry out so fast. Um, Benefit High Beam. It's a little sample. I've already repurchased a full size because I love it so much. This is the Benefit Oola Lift. Honestly, I didn't know how to use it and it's old. So I decided to get rid of that. This is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. 
not as good as my Dior. It's good, but it's not as good as my Dior. It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. It's all right. I'll never purchase the whole full size. L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I like this, but it's a coal eyeliner, and coal eyeliners, as a rule, do not stay in my waterline very long, and it's old, so I need to get rid of it. Dropping things. This is a small size of the Laguna Bronzer, and it just, you know, trying to fit a brush in there to begin with is not easy, but especially once you've hit pan, and I already had the full size, so I just decided to get rid of that. Three more things. Milani Liquid Eyeliner. I didn't like it. Sephora Super Nourishing Lip Balm. Another thing that you're going to see every single time in my empties because I love it. I am finally down to the last two things in my bag and they are the saddest things that I have because they are foundations and we all know how I feel about foundations and these are two of my like top holy grails. The Estee Lauder Double Air, completely done with it. I just, I could not get any more out of it and the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. I'm so sad. I've got to repurchase this one for sure because it's my absolute favorite. And the Double Wear, again, is another staple. I just poked myself in the eye. Okay, but I will say, if you have these foundations, fix them together. That's why I ran out of them at the same time because that's how I started using them and I couldn't stop. They are amazing mixed together. So keep that in mind. You should see my desk right now. It is like... It's going to take me 15 minutes just to stuff all this stuff back in the bag and take it to the recycling. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you have finished up lately and let me know if you even enjoy empties videos. You know, I like watching them because it lets me see how a product really worked for someone. Some people find them to be boring. So let me know what you think. Be nice about it though. <laughs> Don't be like, I hate your empties videos. Um, and thanks again for watching. As always, um, I appreciate it and y'all have a very blessed day.